Your author website is the foundation of your marketing platform. You can send people there from a variety of sites, and once they're there, they can learn more about you, join your email list, and buy your books. Even if you have no technical or graphic design experience, you can create a great author website very easily. Every author should have a website. If you already have one, hopefully you could pick up some tips in this video for adding content to your pages. If you don't have an author website yet, this video is going to teach you how to make one in an easy, affordable way. Though there are many tools out there for building an author website, the two I recommend are Bluehost and Weebly. Though Bluehost and Weebly are both good choices, there are differences. Both are affordable, but Bluehost is a bit cheaper. Bluehost works with WordPress, which is one of the largest website building services on the planet. Because of that, if you go with Bluehost, you can tap into WordPress's extremely large plugin library. A plugin is a specialized tool you can add to your website to give it additional features. You do not need a bunch of plugins, but if you do happen to want to add a lot of components to your site, Bluehost slash WordPress probably is the way to go. Bluehost is very easy to use. Weebly, however, is even a bit easier to use. You definitely need a good domain name for your site. A non-custom domain name looks unprofessional. You want to go with your name followed by .com. For example, my website is tedgaldi.com. If your name is already taken as a .com, a variation is okay, yournamebooks.com, for example. Bluehost and Weebly both let you search for available domain names and buy one. They are not expensive. Once you have your site, you're going to need to put stuff on it. Authors do not need highly complicated websites. At a minimum, you need a home page, an about page, and a books page. You also could have a blog. Not every author needs a blog. Some do. If so, you're going to want that blog to exist within your author website. If writing books is just part of what you do, your website might have a bunch of other content on it. That's fine. On the homepage, you want to get across the genre that you write in. On my homepage, I have covers of some of my books. This gets across that I write throwers with just a look. Another thing you want to put on the homepage of your site is a link to what's known as a reader magnet. Your about page should get across your bio and give people your contact information. Here's my bio, brief, but I try to touch on points that a reader might be interested in. Here's my contact page. I've got email information at the top and then links to my social media profiles underneath. Your books page should show all of the different books that you have out. On mine, I have covers with brief blurbs of what each book is about underneath the cover. If you click one of these covers, I take you to a page dedicated to that specific book. I like using 3D book images on my site instead of just two-dimensional cover files. If you Google 3D book cover, you can find various free tools to create these images, and they only take a few seconds to make. Here's an example of a page dedicated to one of my books. At the top, I have the title. If the book happens to be part of a series, I mentioned the series information. I have a headline. This is an attention-grabbing piece of text about the book that's intended to draw a reader in. 
you're going to want to include availability. Where can people get this book? I then have a primary Amazon link. This is the link to the Amazon site for the country where most of my readers live. I'm an American author. Most of my readers are in the U.S. So I link to the Amazon U.S. store in a more prominent way. Various countries have their own stores on Amazon. For instance, Amazon.com is the American store. Amazon.ca is the Canadian one. You're going to also want to include links for the various Amazon stores that your readers might visit across the globe. If there are additional links that you might have related to the book, put them on there as well. For instance, I offer signed paperbacks. I have a link where you could get one. Beneath the purchase links is a description for the book. This is a more expanded blurb. And then at the bottom, I have a chapter preview. If you click that read now button, a tool opens, which is free to use. You can upload a PDF with a chapter or a few chapters from your book and people can read that preview for free. Blogging is not necessary to promote your books, but if you have the time to make articles, you'll have a lot of content you can share via email and social media, which can lead to sales. Blogging can also help your site get discovered on Google for free, i.e. SEO, search engine optimization. Since posts tend to be informational, non-fiction authors typically blog more than fiction authors. Fiction authors definitely could blog too. However, non-fiction authors tend to use it as more of a focus in their marketing. In terms of creating pages on your website, I'm going to give you an overview of how to do this in Weebly. Very similar concepts apply if you were to go with Bluehost. You're going to want to add a page. And then once you add a page, you're going to be able to customize that page with your content. In Weebly, you have these simple content blocks, which you can drag into any sort of a sequence that you like. All you need to do is type in text or upload files, and you can start customizing the page with your content. Creating these pages is very easy, no coding required.